Hello everybody, it's Lazel here with another video and today I want to talk about the researches that we can do in the college. In the end we will probably end up with all of them on the max level, but I think we can talk about some prioritization so you know that you spend your resources well early on and you get the highest profit out of it. Okay, so there are five different research areas that we can get into and I will talk about each one of them. I'd like to start off with the city defense because this is probably the easiest one to talk about. You don't need anything from here except for the alliance defense level 1 and level 2 because these increase the HP of your defending troops which is very helpful but outside of that the golem researchers aren't helpful in my opinion because golems are a risk during a city defense they get wounded within mostly just one hit and they, it can happen that they screw up your defense formation. So I have seen defenses where people that had golems in their castle, that the angels moved in front of the infantry because of the golems and then the angels got wounded before the infantry and that is something that you definitely don't want. So I personally would recommend to not go for any golems and so you don't have to go for any golem research in here. Maybe just the required levels to do the alliance defense research, but that's actually about it. So nothing really special to talk about in the city defense here. Okay, let's go to the next aspect. Let's talk about the Guardian Force area. This is the resource heaviest area that you can research because it focuses your angels. And yes, a lot of the researches in here are very helpful and should be focused by you, but definitely have an eye on that you need to check for yourself that it doesn't interrupt with your building process to get castle level 30 as fast as possible because those later researches, the level two researches, they are very resource heavy. So have an eye on not putting too much in here while you're still upgrading your castle level until level 30. If I would have to focus some things in here, definitely the angel attack, uh, HP and defense on the first and on the second level. What I also think is helpful is the guardian conversion so you don't have to convert that many of your normal troops to get enough guardian force to recruit of all of your angels. The guardian limit is something that in the late game can be interesting for you so you get more guardian force per day but if you can only recruit like 500 angels a day which require let's say like 30k of guardian force then you actually don't need the guardian limit if you convert troops day by day so this is for example something that can fall behind in the beginning but the guardian conversion is very helpful the angel rally yeah in the long term it will pay off but it is also something i would prioritize other things before that especially the guardian conversion and aside from that the normal base stats of your angels things like guardian limit isn't that important in my opinion before i would research the guardian limit i do the angel rally research yeah that's about it about the guardian force now i'd like to continue with the military side and here are a few things that i'd like to mention first of all you should think about your focus troops very early so you can already build your technology in here for example if you know okay i want to force cavalry and archers then researchers like for the infantry and for your mages can fall behind in the beginning and you can focus the troops that you want to play in the late game. Aside from that, the leadership researches are helpful and should be focused by you because march size is something that especially on the early levels are very important to have a better event performance or to hunt stronger monsters. You want to hunt level 26 and upwards monsters as fast as possible so you get the highest quality of Azeroth scroll fragments. So going for the march size is very helpful 
and some requirements have to be done for that so always have an eye on that but as i just said have an eye on or think about your troop focus very early so you can prioritize your researchers in here too as i also like to say is that things like for example if you uh, commit to cavalry archers if you have to decide between doing a cavalry armor or an archer armor research it is clear that you would go for the cavalry because you want your hp and defense pool in your front line very high it has a higher priority than your backline defenses on the other side when we are talking about the offense side you would go for your archer attack for example over your cavalry attack so always prioritize what is the best technology aspect for a certain unit pool your front line needs hp and defense and your backline pool needs a lot of attack and as i have said earlier in the end you will probably max out everything in here but it's about your prioritization order that you work as efficient as possible next up we will go with the resource area and i will only talk about what is interesting for main castles the production improvements can be very helpful for you because your main castle is a castle that will probably have not as many resource tiles as your farms but in the end your resource tiles will be at a way higher level and then these race resource production researches pay off very well when you do them compared to that the race gathering speed researchers are researchers that in my opinion can fall behind because the main castle should focus gathering gems because this is the currency that you need to gather to be able to keep up with your development process and to be able to enter certain events several times for example the savage lands where the second or also third entry costs 2k of gems each time so this is something why I think that researchers like the gathering speed can fall behind. When we have things like stone production, on the other hand, is something that I would say this is an interesting research for the main castle. Because when all of the resource tiles in your main castles are able to produce enough resources to finance your daily recruitment of units and your daily healing from hunting monsters or during the ruins, this is something that has a nice payoff in the long run. Very important research here on the resource area is the spelunking research it raises your gem gather speed so this is something that i would prioritize with the main castle on the lower areas you can see that it is with the same research but just gets higher levels so also here the spelunking research is helpful and things like the alloy drill second level or the blast furnace level two you can see here that i don't have the minecart second level research done because I simply don't gather iron and so I never did this research. It is very resource heavy so this might only be interesting for farms and for main castles I'd focus the spelunking and then all of the resource production researches. And lastly we come to the development aspect. First of all the architecture research is something that I don't really like but you will need it to do all of the higher levels of researches. Then we come to the physique level one research this is something that should be done as soon as possible because it increases your stamina recovery so you can hunt more monsters the rapid march is also something that is helpful because you don't spend so much time hunting monsters you hunt them faster and then you can gather more gems over the time the lower we go we have the medical facilities it's something that i would research also very early especially when you're still in a civil war kingdom because then you have more wounded capacity Things like the research research itself is also something that I don't think is very helpful because you don't have to rush with your researches on the lower castle levels. You have different priorities. It is to increase your castle level as fast as possible to castle level 30. Then we come to the left side where you have healing speed increased and you have wounded conversion increased. This is something that is very helpful because you save a lot of troops over the time so this researchers should be done very early. I think that the tax rate 
research is something that you don't have to do because if you want to help somebody out with resources then you just let them plunder one of your farms. This is a very old and a very rare mechanic that players use because it just doesn't have a payoff. Let them empty one of your farms and then you help them more than by sending them resources and paying taxes. And yeah, so tax rate research is something that I personally wouldn't do. On the lower levels, we have the physique level two. So also important to do that as fast as possible. The rapid march again and here we come to the second levels of medical facilities again i just talked about it and here the healing and wounded conversion research is also something that should be done as fast as possible and again the tax rate i just talked about it so i hope that overall the priorities are very clear the city defense is something that you don't really have to research at least i don't really see a reason to do it because golems aren't really good for your castle defense guardian force is a very resource heavy aspect that you really need to plan with your building order Otherwise, it might end up in you starting a guardian force research that is very resource heavy. And then it might end up you cannot start an upgrade, for example, one of your cast levels for a day or two until you have gathered enough resources again. The military researchers, you should always have an eye on prioritizing the main technology aspects for your units, your frontline wants health and defense and your backline mostly wants attack. In the long run, you will max out everything, but to start off, you should prioritize what is more, most efficient. So go for HP and defense in your front line and attack in your back line. Resources, it is interesting about going for the resource production rates with your main castle, but not for the gather speed researches with your main castle because for your main castle, you should focus the spelunking research that helps you gather gems faster. Because in my opinion, this is the thing that main castle should go for, because with gems, you can finance your technology upgrades and you can play events way more efficiently. On the development side, try to avoid things like research or building speed upgrades and also to reduce your tax rates because they won't really help you in the long run. Focus the stamina recovery first and especially your medical facilities and your healing speeds and wounded conversions so you have a really nice profit or benefit from them on the early levels. As I just said in the beginning of the video, in the end, you will probably end up with doing all of the researches in here, but prioritize them and check what gives you the best benefit from the early stages of the game. All right, guys, I hope that this video helped you out to understand the college a bit better. And then I would say, see you in the next video. Goodbye, guys.